A William James Middle School teacher was arrested Wednesday morning on child molestation charges from an inappropriate relationship with her 14-year-old student. Amy Jackson, age 35, was an 8th grade language arts teacher at William James and is charged with, among other things, one count of statutory rape and one count of aggravated child molestation. Wednesday afternoon, Bullitt County Superintendent of Schools Dr. Lewis Holloway addressed the situation at a press conference at the board office. The school district has no tolerance uh, for this type of behavior. We believe that teachers are in a responsibility of moral trust uh, to the community. And unfortunately, uh, in this day and age, we are seeing more and more of this. There are incidents of this all across the uh, country. I think some of the reasons that we're seeing more of this is our uh, technology and social networks and cell phones and the ability to send pictures and text uh, has made our children somewhat more vulnerable. And I believe our staff as well as our parents need to continue to stay on top of those type of activities to protect any student from this type of uh, activity. We cooperate with the Sheriff's Department immediately and always in any type of uh, uh, incident. Uh, they've been very helpful for us and we've tried to be as helpful as we can uh, for them. Among Jackson's charges were two counts, computer or electronic child exploitation and social networking between students and teachers is an area the board plans on addressing with guidelines very soon. I think that we're going to consider a policy that limits any teacher's social networking with students. That, that seems to be across the line and opens up conversations that uh, shouldn't occur. I'd also like to remind people that, you know, anytime they're using computers or their phone, uh, uh, there's records of almost all of that information uh, that can be obtained. Holloway also said counseling will be provided for those affected by this situation. We're treating this like a crisis, like we would a death uh, or something, a student getting harmed and, and kids are emotional. Uh, this teacher is very popular, very well liked, loved by many uh, kids. Uh, I, I think it's somewhat advantageous to us that this information broke prior to school starting and it's not a shock and there has been a good bit of rumors in the community from both sides uh, about this. Uh, we certainly want to protect the uh, victim in this situation and them remaining anonymous. That may be possible, it may not be possible, but uh, we certainly will be supporting anyone that needs counseling. Board of Education Chairman David Ball was on hand as well, and having a 14-year-old son himself, he could look at this both from the Board of Education side as well as being a father. It's tough for me to swallow because, you know, I'm in it for the kids. Um, and, uh, and it's just hard to, to fathom that this would happen. It's kind of like a firestorm. All of a sudden it shows up in your lap and you've got to do something about it. I think we've made the correct steps of doing what needs to be done for both the victim and, the, uh, and Miss Amy. And, uh, and we've got to go on from there. This newscast is brought to you in part thanks to Ogeechee Technical College, education with purpose. Call today, 681-5500, or visit them online at ogeecheetech.edu. What's your purpose? You can find it at Ogeechee Technical College. With over 120 programs of study, hands-on training, affordable tuition, and flexible schedules, find your path to a successful career. For more information on any of our programs of study, call 681-5500, visit our campus, or check us out on the web at ogeecheetech.edu. Ogeechee Technical College, education with purpose. Have you seen the newly remodeled Pro Shop at Hackers? If not, you're going to be surprised. Completely renovated wall to wall and filled with a new stock of the brand names you know and trust. Titleist, the best name in golf balls. Clubs by Cleveland, Ping, and more. Footwear by Adidas, Footjoy, and Nike. A wide selection of golf clothing and accessories, including GSU wear. It's all at the newly remodeled Pro Shop and Driving Range at Hackers. 2802 Old Register Road, Statesboro. If you're out there doing what you do, the last thing you want is to worry about sketchy claims coverage from a cut rate insurance company. When you go with Grange Insurance, you're working with a company that uses big, bold brush strokes when it comes to claims and a 96% claim satisfaction rate. 
Lee Hill and Johnston Insurance is your Grange Independent Agency in Statesboro for auto, home, business, and life insurance. Call or visit our website today. College football is quickly approaching, and this week the Southern Conference media and coaches polls were released with Georgia Southern picked as the favorite, narrowly inching out App State in the media poll, while the two were flip-flopped in the coaches poll with App State picked first and Georgia Southern picked second. Wofford was third, Chattanooga fourth, Furman fifth, Elon sixth, Sanford seventh, Western Carolina eighth, and the Citadel ninth in the media poll, with the only real difference in the coaches poll being that of course, Georgia Southern was second in Appalachian State first, and Chattanooga received one first-place vote as well. The Eagles open up September 3rd at Sanford.